Hi, welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington on YouTube, where you get the whole story. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, even if thanks button on YouTube. Well, the news is just nonstop, it seems, anymore, and this one isn't good for once. Former Washington Redskins, now the Commanders, but Dave Butts has passed away. And I covered Dave Butts, and phew, one of the biggest, massive human beings I ever met. I remember going in the locker room in the 80s, when it was Redskins Park, and you saw Dexter Manley, and there was Joe Jacoby, and there was Dave Butts. They were three titans of it. And Butts was six foot eight. Uh, years later, I would see him at Frostburg, ironically, and he had lost probably 100 pounds. I didn't recognize the guy. Not because he was sick, but a lot of players, they lose a lot of weight later. Now, now, now Butts was a fifth overall pick in, by the St. Louis Cardinals, played there two years, and then George Allen traded for him, like he traded for everybody. He traded two first and a second in 1975 for Butts, and Butts played through 1988, was part of two Super Bowl winning teams. Uh, it was one of the greatest 80 Redskins when they named it that. Of course, it was in the team's ring of honor on there. It, you know, just amazing. A couple of stories about Butts. Um, grouchy old bear, but actually a decent guy. But it would always be grouchy for reporters because back then, believe it or not, players weren't as nice as they are today to reporters. Uh, and he would just like, what do you want? And I had heard that he liked to carve uh, duck decoys out of wood. And so I'd used it to try and start a conversation with him. And he knew what I was doing, but he still was nice enough to me to show me his duck decoys. And all. he was very good at it. He was very well known for it. But I guess the biggest thing I remember about Butts is women reporters were just really starting to come around and uh, the Post had one there. And, of course, some juvenile antics happened. And Butts would not speak to the woman in the locker room. He didn't believe in women in the locker room. But he straightened everything out so that she had free access and nobody, you know, was harassing her anymore. Or they'd have to deal with him. That showed me some real character. Rest in peace, Dave. People will miss you. Uh, you were a great guy. I'm Rick Snyder for Rick Snyder's Washington. Thanks for coming. I'll see you soon.